This is our mirror before mirror mate. You can see there's a lot of damage down here just from years of lots of hot showers. All the instructions come in this bag and your glue and your corner wedges come in this bag. Each frame comes with four of the larger corner connectors and four small ones. Take a look at the side of one of the frames and you see how this is a, a shallow slot and this is a deep slot. You're just gonna, we're just going to stick these in here once we put the frame pieces together. So the interior ones use the long piece and the exterior side uses the short pieces. We put a thin coat of the wood glue. We put a thin layer of glue on both sides. And now we're going to put the smaller external wood connector. Gently tap the clip in. Do not over hammer. Now you go back and you insert the larger wood connector on all four corners. Once your frame is built, make sure when you pick it up, you pick it up from the longest side with hands evenly spaced apart. They don't want you to carry it holding onto the corner. They want you to grab it like there and there. Our frame has to dry for 30 minutes. While we're doing that, we're going to clean the edge of our mirror with rubbing alcohol. I've already windexed it earlier. I'm just gonna spray alcohol on here and wipe off any residue. So we have a backsplash that we can just rest our frame on and then push it back. Now, if you don't have a backsplash, if your mirror is just hanging in the air, hold the frame up and get it exactly where you want it to be. You're gonna put double sticky tape on the back of these cardboard corners that they provided. So while your frame is positioned where you want it, then you're gonna put this up inside your frame on both sides. And to fold this up, there you go. And then there's your double sticky tapes you put on here and here. So we put our frame in place. We have removed the double sticky tape just a couple inches and folded it toward the center. So all the strips are dog-eared with the ends toward the center. Now we have our frame in place and now we just pull the tape backing. And do that for all four corners. Firmly press the mirror on all four corners. And there's our finished product. And the damaged area is completely hidden. So ours was probably one of the easier installs since we don't have mirror clips and we had the backsplash to prop it up on for positioning. I hope this is helpful. Thank you.